Hey, welcome back to Musicians on the Record, the show where we get the musician's story. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Ward. So glad you're here. This week, oh, this is going to be cool. I mean, what a fun gig this is uh, just to be able to talk to some of these musicians and get their stories. Uh, but this guy is an amazing bass player, songwriter, musician. Roland Sally is on the show today. If you don't know Roland, he is the bass player for Chris Isaac and Silvertone. Incredible band that is, Chris Isaac, so many hits, that's awesome. He also wrote a pretty famous song, I think you've heard it before. It's a Grammy Award winning song called Killing the Blues. It's been covered just about by everybody. I, we actually like his version the best, but Sean Colvin, John Prine, and uh, Alison Krauss and Robert Plant covered it. They're the ones who won the Grammy with it, along with Roland. He won. Uh, but this is going to be fun. you got to watch this video. There's so many cool stories that he's going to share. And just a little sneak peek, uh, he tells a story about meeting Jimi Hendrix and Mitch Mitchell on the drums that I was just blown away with. Um, anytime I hear that kind of stuff from folks who have, uh, you know, met these folks, my hairs on my neck start to tingle and uh, perk up. So it's really awesome. This guy is the real deal. Roland Sally is on Musicians on the Record this week. And fun story behind the scenes. You know, a lot of times, uh, you know, here's how it works. I will write to folks uh, and ask them to be on the show. And some folks you hear back from, some folks you don't just because they're busy. And some folks say, yeah, I'd love to do it, but I don't know when because uh, really busy. So this is where synchronicity happens in life. Uh, friends of ours, Pete and Goodrin in Portland, Maine, they own a pet shop, a pet product shop called UncommonPaws.com. That's my shameless plug for uh, uh, Pete and Goodrin. Check them out online, Uncommon Paws, for all your pet supply needs. Uh, so they're working in the store, doing their thing in, in the old port in Portland, Maine. Roland Sally walks in because he's shopping for, I think it was a, a little frisbee for his dog, Woody, who you're going to see on the interview as well. And, you know, as Pete does, he strikes up a conversation with folks. They start talking about music. He's in town with Chris Isaac. And all of a sudden, there's a connection that happens. And a few days later, Roland, Sally, and I are on uh, the internet, the interweb, talking and recording. It was incredibly fun. I hope you enjoy it. Please let us know what you think. We'd love to hear from you on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. And you can see all of our interviews on musiciansontherecord.com. So we'd love to hear from you as well as who would you love to interview? If you could sit down, if we could wave the magic wand, which musician would you love to interview and what would you ask them? So we hope you have a great weekend. We really appreciate you watching. Thanks again so much. I'm David Ward and we'll see you soon. Yeah.